Hi, let's talk about multiplying and dividing integers today. Now, the good news with multiplying and dividing integers, the rules are exactly the same. So let's talk about um, in words. The product of two integers with the same sign is always positive. So when the signs match or they're the same, we're going to get a positive answer. So for example, positive 2 times positive 4 makes positive 8. Or negative 2 times negative 4 would also give us 8. All right, and I draw a little picture that helps people remember. Um, a positive times a positive makes a positive, makes that little guy happy. Negative times negative also makes little guy happy. Okay, so when they match, the little face is happy. Now, the product of two integers with different signs is always negative. So positive 2 times negative 4 would give us negative 8. Or negative 2 times positive 4 gives us negative 8. And so to show you this with the little pictures, if there's a positive and a negative, their eyes don't match, so the little guy is unhappy. Um, same thing here, negative times a positive, eyes don't match, so the little guy is unhappy. And then the product of any integer and zero is always zero. So two times zero would be zero, or negative two times zero gives us zero. Okay, look at example one, multiplying integers. So here, negative five times negative eight. Well, the signs are the same, so the product is positive. That gives us positive 40. Look at B, negative eight times positive seven. The signs are different, so that would be negative 56. And look at C, negative 51 times zero would give us zero, of course. So go to the checkpoint, find the product. So seven times negative 12, signs are different, means our answer is negative, so it's negative 84. Look at number two, negative nine times negative five. The signs are the same, so our answer is positive 45. Look at number three, negative 250 times zero is just zero. Anything times zero is zero, you know that. Take a look at number four, um, negative four times 11, the signs are different, so our product is negative. All right, let's look at dividing integers now. So as I told you, the rules are exactly the same. The quotient of two integers with the same sign is gonna be positive. So positive eight divided by positive four gives us positive two. Or negative eight divided by negative four gives us positive two. So when the signs are the same, our quotient is positive. Now the quotient of two integers with different signs is gonna be negative. So negative eight divided by four would be negative two or positive eight divided by negative four would give us negative two. So when the signs are different, the quotient is negative. The quotient of zero in any non-zero integer is zero. So zero divided by four is zero, or zero divided by negative four is zero. But this is something I want you to add in your notes. You always want to watch out for zero in the denominator. That would be a problem. Four divided by zero, when zero's in the denominator, is the answer is undefined. It is not a number answer. It is undefined. You cannot do division by zero in algebra. So please add that to your notes. Okay, look at example two, dividing integers. Um, negative 63 divided by negative nine. Well, the signs are the same, so our answer is positive seven. Look at B, 24 divided by negative four. The signs are different, so the answer is negative, negative six. Zero divided by negative two? Well, as long as the zero is first, the answer is zero. But here, look at D. Seven divided by zero, the zero is in the denominator. That means it's undefined. Okay, let's look at the checkpoint, find the quotient. So zero divided by negative 43. Remember what I mentioned, the zero is first? That means the zero is on top, if I wrote it like a fraction. Zero divided by negative 43. So when zero is on the top, everything's fine. The answer is zero. Take a look at number six. 32 divided by negative four. Well, the signs are different, so our answer is negative, negative eight. Take a look at number seven, negative 28 divided by seven. The signs are different, so our answer is negative, negative four. And take a look at number eight, negative 38 divided by negative 19. The signs are the same, so the quotient is positive, it's positive two.